Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about Zacharias Johnson, so a little bit about him. He was born in Hague in the year of 1585. Both of his parents were Belgium, um, and he grew up with his sister in the city of Netherlands. Okay, so what did he do that was so important? Why are we studying about him? Why am I writing about him? So he's actually the inventor of the microscope instrument or tool. It helped others t- other scientists study the natural world this led to new discoveries and his invention was a huge advancement in technology at the time as you can see in the picture that's the first microscope ever made take some time to read how a modern microscope would work or what it has How has the microscope changed and developed? Despite some early observations of bacteria and cells, the microscope impacted other scientists too. Important technical improvements happened in the 1830s, and that transformed the microscope into into a powerful instrument. Till this day, it's being changed and improved to the best. Who was the first to use the microscope as a scientific instrument? Although Johnson was the one who invented the microscope, Antoni van Leeuwenhoek was the first person to use the microscope as a scientific instrument. He used the microscope to observe a drop of pond water. Other Zachariah contributions. He contributed to the cell theory, which is the invention of single lens microscopes and that of multiple lenses, also known as the compound microscope. This discovery developed his microscope invention. This timeline is the cell theory timeline. It's a timeline of when scientists explored cells and approved of them as living things. Take a moment to see it. That's it for my presentation video thing. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, found something interesting.